Assalamu alaikum. What a day. Good to see you all receiving accolades, honors, certificates, moving onwards in life. And it gives me great pleasure to address the young graduates at the convocation of one of Pakistan's highly regarded women institutions. It is impressive that this prestigious 110-year-old institution produces some 700 quality graduates and MPhils every year who become leaders not only within their own families and workplaces, but also at the national and international levels. It is absolutely necessary for all of us to be leaders. And to be a leader, you have to be caring and a very sincere person. A leader always wants good for others and knows that what goes around comes around. Karbhala ho bhala. That's the principle. That's, the, that's a principle of getting success. And leaders are truthful, just, and courageous. Allama Iqbal ne kya khub kaha tha? Sabak phir par sadaqat ka, adalat ka, shujaat ka. Liya jayega tuj se kaam dunya ki imamat ka. So this is a recipe to become a leader. Sadaqat, truth. Adalat, you have to be justful. Shujaat, courageous, you know, courage. Leaders are courageous. They take the decisions when they have to take the decision. No matter what big or small decision it is, but decision at the right time always pays. And we all know rankings are very important. Rankings gives us passion to move forward, passion to compete. And it is commendable and so good to see the excellent achievement for Kinnaird, its principal and faculty to be ranked by the Higher Education Commission Research and Innovating Wing, first among women institutions. Wow. Second among public sector universities. Great. Fourth among both public and private sector universities of Lahore. Incredible. Seventh among all universities of the Punjab. Humongous. And 17th among universities of Pakistan. Wow. That's, again, very impressive. Congratulations and keep it up. No, women in education and empowerment is, is, is of absolute importance and um, to further promote the cause, I have as chancellor of uh, all the universities, public sector universities in the Punjab and uh, as patron in chief of most of the private uh, universities in Punjab. Um, I, I created actually seven consortia to work on seven different areas where we can focus and in, try to improve things. And one of the consortia is a consortium on women education and uh, women empowerment. I'm pleased to inform you that uh, different women universities and co-ed universities are working together with their vice chancellors, with their uh, faculty to focus on the subject and to bring improvements in the subject because it is very important. With, as they say, that uh, when you teach a man, you teach one person. When you teach a woman, you teach a family. <laughs> it has given me immense satisfaction and delight to meet the brilliant young women who have just been honored for being outstanding in all fields and have been awarded gold medals in their respective disciplines. Kinnaird College has always produced high achievers. I congratulate the principal and faculty and the board of management on the excellent result in the last academic year. The sports team have won laurels in cricket, hockey, badminton, and basketball. It is really something. We're proud of the fact that 19 sports women from Kinnaird represented Pakistan at the international level since 2011. And that's, that's phenomenal for so many reasons. Sports teaches us sportsman spirit. Sports teaches us the passion and, um, and, and the will to move forward, fight our way forward. But at the same time, it teaches us how we have to play with the rules. And then at the end, if we lose, we're not losers. We have learned something. 
it tells us that we have to try and try again. And if we win, it, it also teaches us how to win with a grace. So that's sports is all about. Our dream for an educate, educated and an enlightened, enlightened Pakistan rests on creating a knowledge-based economy through a human resource which is rightly equipped with skills and character with right attitudes. I'm happy to learn that the college facilitates students to specialize in traditional knowledge as well as new science and technology programs. And then again, science and technology is very important. I have also created a consortium on science and technology and we are focusing on STEM education and also looking at the prospects, how science and technology can be further improved. In today's world, technology is, in, is an enabler in taking the nations and people forward. Fourth industrial revolution, as they say now, is primarily depending on two things, technology and collaboration. And in fact, it is technology which is also providing new avenues for collaborating and working together. We must understand that in a society, we can't win without teamwork. And it is the teams which deliver. And in today's world of collaboration, people sitting in far-flung areas, in, in different parts of the planet, different people sitting in different parts and different universities of the world, they're doing research together, they're collaborating together, they're, they're doing business together. So uh, technology is providing new ways of entrepreneurship and so many, opening up so many new avenues and it must be reinforced. It is crucial in times of today to bid farewell to rock learning and focus on producing thinkers and creators of novel and innovative ideas. Only then will our education system be able to compete internationally. Critical and analytical thinking is an absolute must. Bishop Dr. Alexander Malik mentioned about smog and environmental pollution issues. I'm also pleased to inform you that one of the seven consortia is focusing on environmental pollution, smog, and other wastage issues. So we are working together with the university faculty who have been trained in reputed institutes around the world to come up with ideas and ways forward. And we are working on three-pronged strategy, how our universities must improve themselves, how the government should improve itself, and how the people should improve itself. So I think it's an all-inclusive strategy which can give us uh, success and we can move forward. I'm also, uh, proud of the fact that as Education Minister from 2013 to 18, we were able to strengthen our universities and we increased the funding from around 34 billion rupee annually to around 120 billion rupee. That was four time increase in any one given tenure. <laughs> Unfortunately, after 2018, the funding for higher education, through higher education for the tertiary education, plunged down in a single year uh, from 120 billion rupee to uh, only 60 billion rupee and it remained around that for the last three or four years. But again, inshallah, we're trying and we must keep on focusing on education and technology and research and development. There's also a need to recognize the high standards the faculty of Kinnaird has attained through upgradation of quali qualification and enhancement of research-based skills. A dynamic faculty is undeniably a prerequisite of a high standard institution like Kinnaird. Dear students, we must, keep up, we must keep on improving ourselves. Prophet Muhammad wasallam said that for a believer, every new day should be better than the previous day. If we look at Japan's success, the Kaizen principle, which says that we must keep on improving every day and with every passing time, is also was a catalyst in Japan's improvement. And, in, and every education and every research tells us that continuous improvement is the way to go. And we must keep on 
improving ourselves, our attitudes, our training, our education. We must be lifelong learners, and learning for life should be our passion. Reading new books, going through media, and trying to learn new things every day will, inshallah, keep you uh, successful always. I must tell the young graduates not to be shy of trying new things for the fear of failure. Either you succeed or you get wiser. Learn from your mistakes. Be innovative. Be creative. Thomas Alva Edison failed for more than 2,500 times before coming to the solution of inventing a light bulb. So it is the try and try again principle, which keeps on uh, giving the good results. Today, world is a global village. Technology is bringing us closer. We and our education must be relevant. Don't just get education for the purpose of improving on yourself or just for your family or just for your livelihood. Have a higher purpose of life, life. aim high. You know, we should, must have a meaningful life. We must have, we must prepare ourselves to deliver to society, make improvements in Pakistan and deliver to world. Today, so many countries in the world need people from, with positive attitudes and right set of knowledge and skills. And these many countries have declining populations. You, the young people, are the greatest demographic division we have in this country. It's incredible, and we are proud of you. So equip yourself, and you are relevant globally, inshallah. The challenge for channelizing this potential lies with the head of the institution. I'm certain that Professor Dr. Oksana David is fully capable of steering the team to a, to a triumphant uh, pinnacle. You mentioned social action in your uh, report. I'm glad that uh, students are working in, in, towards the better of society. And as chancellor of the universities, I'm working towards finalizing a program in which we must make it and a must uh, to to introduce volunteerism in the society. And it must, be, it must give credits for the students to come up and come out and take part in the, um, uh, in the plantation drive, take part to become volunteers in the hospital. You know, in the government hospital, with limited resources and with not the option of saying no to any extra patient they get, they often or most often they are overloaded with patients. And then the patients come from far-flung areas. It is for their first time to come to a hospital. They don't know which door to knock when they go for a certain and whether how the procedure works in a hospital. Volunteers can guide them there. Volunteers can fill in the blanks in the educational institutions where we are requiring more and more teachers. And in so many other ways in social action, Volunteerism can work wonders, and most importantly, it gives us inner satisfaction and it, it, it leads us to success. Let me also remind you of the successful times. Uh, let me also remind you of the stressful times we are passing through with the recent floods and highly challenging fiscal situation. You must join hands with the government to promote a culture of tolerance, peace, love, and respect for Pakistanis and the people of the world. The main purpose of the universities, as it is said, is to do research. And it is not just the research which is done in the labs or the research which is done in the classrooms and theoretical and practical research. It is also a way of life. We must all be, after getting college and university education, we must all be different from those who did not get this opportunity. We, our attitudes must be that before, whatever we hear, we have to do research about it. And we must not believe what is being said. 
without getting any evidence out of it. It is also important for all of us to play our role in politics. It is a sacred responsibility for all of us to cast our votes for the new governments. And the governments must be responsible for delivering to the people. For doing so, you will be hearing big and tall claims from most of the political parties and the political leaders. Just listen to everyone and try to do research and see that who has delivered to what extent. Whatever chance was given to anyone by the people if they were at helm of affairs, were they able to make a difference? What were their priorities? If your priority is education, look at the fact which governments increase the funding towards education and really improve improved educational institutions and, provide, and broaden the access to education and reduce the number of out of school children. If your priority is, is health, look at the fact that which governments made more hospitals or made systems in the hospitals better or availability of medicine and access to medical facilities closer to the people of the country. If your priority is economy, look at the fact today's, in today's time, we can get credible, credible information from uh, so many sources, government of uh, Pakistan's Bureau of Statistics, State Bank of Pakistan, uh, United Nations, and other institutes, they give data about different countries and their economy. So look at the fact that when was our GDP growth rate good? When was our economy doing better? When is our total debt going up? Or when is the poverty, people be, uh, living below poverty line are being reduced or increased? And then make your decisions based on these research findings. And at the same time, we must exercise tolerance and we must have the habit of understanding others' point of view. So we must respect others' point of view. We could be from different uh, point, or we, we can hail from different uh, opinions or, or we, can, we can endorse different uh, facts, but at the same time, we must be respectful for each other, not calling each other traitor, but living together and in a way that we love each other and we find it better. Dear students, in the beginning when my intro was being uh, read here, I'm thankful for the uh, management for deciding to do so. I think one very important piece of information was missed, that my primary education was a Dominican convent school in Bahawalpur, and that was also very important. And you know, whenever, Whenever we look at, uh, I look at school motto and school's uh, uh, insignia, and looking at your insignia, which says light, courage, love, beautiful. And it reminds me of the institutions I went to. The motto of Dominican Convent School, my primary alma mater, said just one word, truth. And I think it had a profound effect on me. Then my secondary school, school's motto said, Sadiq Public School, Bahawalpur said, do the right, fear no man. And that is also of absolute importance. We have to be on the right side of the history. I'm glad that in a recent discussion, when a lot of blame was coming on my way, when it was being said that Governor Punjab did something unconstitutional. Even High Court's decision and yesterday's Supreme Court decision uh, validated my point of view, alhamdulillah. And then in my university education, in my tertiary education, the motto said, sine moribus leges vine. It's, it's Latin and it means without morals, laws are useless. In my 10 year history as in parliament, whenever we were making new laws, it reminded me, and I was always thinking that the new ma law we are enacting, is it ethical? Does it carry 
the moral strength and will it prevail for that purpose. So I think it's very important looking at your motto, I hope and pray. And my prayers are, um, let me uh, say amin to what um, Alexander Malik said in Urdu, his prayers, and after that, let me pray that you, our star graduates, our future, keep on spreading the light and keep on be, uh, becoming the icon of, uh, icon like a, like a light tower, and you be a courage, full of courage, and be a leader who is courageous, and you keep on spreading love, for love is uh, the main ingredient of success in our life. Finally, let me extend my congratulations to the outgoing graduates and express my thanks to the principal and faculty members for inviting me to official PM. Keep it up. Well done, Kinnear College. Thank you, Mr. Dalil Gurehman, the Honorable Governor of the Punjab. I thank you for highlighting the importance of our votes. I assure you, Kinnead has undoubtedly equipped these young ladies with wisdom, so I'm sure they cast their votes wisely, inshallah. So on behalf of the college, Professor Dr. Ruxana David, the principal Kinnead College for Women, will now present a small memento of appreciation to the Honorable Chief Guest. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the moment you are, you are all eagerly awaiting, the presentation of the degrees. We will begin with the presentation of the Bachelors in Biological and Life Sciences, Applied Sciences and Business Studies, followed by Bachelors degrees in Language, Literature and Education, Arts, Design and Media Communication, Social Sciences and Law, and finally Diplomas, Masters and FA degrees. I now request the Dean of Biological and Life Sciences, Applied Sciences and Business Studies, Professor Dr. Iram Anjuk, to present the candidates for the bachelor's degree in Biological and Life Sciences, majors Biochemistry, Biotechnology, Botany, Food Science and Human Nutrition, Zoology and Psychology. The candidates for the bachelor's degrees in Biological and Life Sciences for the class of 2022 are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Iram Anjo, the Academic Dean. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the bachelor's degree in biological and life sciences, to which degree I pray they may now be admitted. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the degree of bachelor's in biological and life sciences, and in recognition thereof, I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this degree. Congratulations, ladies. Please be seated. I now request the Dean of Biological and Life Sciences, Applied Sciences and Business Studies, Professor Dr. Iram Anjo, to present the candidates for the bachelor's degree in the physical and earth sciences, majors chemistry, environmental sciences, geography, and physics. The candidates for the bachelor's degree in physical and earth sciences for the class of 2022 are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Iram Anju, the academic dean. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the bachelor's degree in physical and earth sciences, to which degree I pray they may now be admitted. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the degree of Bachelors in Physical and Earth Sciences 
and in recognition thereof, I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this degree. Congratulations, ladies. Please be seated. We now proceed to award the bachelor's degrees in applied sciences and business studies, majors accounting and finance, business administration, computer science, economics, mathematics, and statistics. The candidates for the bachelor's degrees in applied sciences and business studies are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Iram Anjo, the academic dean. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the bachelor's degree in applied sciences and business studies, to which degree I pray they may now be admitted. You haven't been admitted as yet. <laughs> by virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the degree of Bachelor in Applied Sciences and Business Studies. And in recognition thereof, I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this degree. Now you can. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, ladies. Please be seated. We now proceed to award the bachelor's degrees in language and literature, arts, design, and media communication, social sciences, and law. I now request Professor Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the Dean of Language, Literature, and Education, Arts, Design, and Media Communication, Social Sciences, and Law to present the candidates for the above bachelor's degree. Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the academic dean, will now present the candidates for the bachelor's degree in language, literature, and education majors applied linguistics, English literature and Urdu, the candidates for the bachelors in language and literature degrees, majors English literature, language and linguistics and Urdu are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the academic dean. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the degree of bachelor in language and literature to which degree I pray they may now be admitted. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the degree of Bachelors in Language, Literature and Education. And in token thereof, I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this degree. Congratulations, ladies. Please be seated. We now proceed to award the Bachelors of Studies degree in Arts, Design, and Media Communication. Professor Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the Dean of Arts, Design, and Media Communication, will now present the candidates for the Bachelors of Studies degree in Arts, Design, and Media Communication, majors Fine Arts, Media Studies, Music, and Textile. The candidates for the Bachelor of Studies in Arts, Design, and Media Communication degrees Majors Fine Arts, Media Studies, Music and Textile are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the Academic Dean. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the degree of Bachelors in Arts, Design and Media Communication, to which degree I pray they may now be admitted. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the degree of Bachelors of Studies in Arts, Design, and Media Communication. And in token thereof, I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this degree. Congratulations, ladies. Please be seated. We now proceed to award the Bachelor's Degree in Social Sciences and Law. Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the Dean of Social Sciences and Law, will now present the candidates for the Bachelor's Degree in Social Sciences and Law, Majors International Relations, Law, Political Science and Philosophy. The candidates for the Bachelor's Degree in Social Sciences and Law degrees in International Relations, Law, Political Science, Islamic Studies and Philosophy are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Masha Asad Khan, the Academic Dean. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the degree of bachelors in social sciences and law to which degree I pray they may now be admitted. 
by virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the degree of Bachelors in Science in Social Sciences and Law, and in token thereof, I present to you this degree and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this degree. Congratulations, ladies. Please be seated. I now request Professor Dr. Nikhil Khan, Dean of Postgraduate Programs, to present the candidates for the Diploma in English Language Teaching. The candidates for the Diploma in English Language Teaching are requested to please stand. Professor Dr. Nikhil Khan, Dean of Postgraduate Department. Madam, I present to you these persons who after examination have been declared duly qualified to receive the diploma in English language teaching to which diploma I pray they may now be admitted. By virtue of the power vested in me by the Board of Governors, I admit you to the diploma in English language teaching and in token thereof, I present to you this diploma and authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of this diploma. Congratulations. Professor Dr. Nekha Khan, Dean of Postgraduate Department, will now present the candidates for the Masters in Philosophy degrees in Accounting and Finance, Applied Linguistics, Biochemistry, Business Studies, English Literature, English Language Teaching, Environmental Sciences, Food Science and Human Nutrition, International Relations, Media Studies, Political Science, and Statistics. The candidates for the Masters in Philosophy degrees in all these majors are requested to please stand. Professor Dr.